Hey everyone, it's your girl Nunu the Hair Diva and I'm back with you with a back to school exciting face look. Yay! <laughs> this is for Shop My Stash week number 11. It's the face of the day look number two. I am so excited that my teenagers are back to school that I had to go crazy in purple and pink. Yes, I did. And y'all know Nunu don't like pink. But I put it on because today it made me happy. All right. So let's get into this makeup that I put on because I still have to go to work. And I need to hurry up and get myself on out of here. So, first thing on my face, Rimmel Stay Matte Primer. We all use it, know it, love it. Works wonderfully. For um, the foundation that I have on my face, I'm still using my Maybelline Fit Me Foundation. We got 340, and I believe that is Cappuccino. And then we have 355, and I believe that is Coconut. I use the lighter one down the T-zone, the darker one in the outer area gives me a very good look. For the powder that I have on my face, I'm still using my Air Spun Powder. This is loose powder and it is, it is in naturally neutral. Yeah. And uh, I apologize, yesterday I think I said that it doesn't brighten. Yes, it does. I moved to a different area and was able to see my skin in better lighting than this room. And yes, it does make your skin tone, if you're my skin tone or darker, a little brighter. So to even out that, I decided to use my L'Oreal True Match this is in classic tan this is what that color looks like that was to give myself you know back some color to my face alright as a cheek blush I am using my Tarte blush if I can get it open this is the Amazonian clay 12 hour blush it is in the color flush and this is what that color looks like. It is a beautiful pink. I hope that you can see that because I am in a different direction. I'm sitting in a different direction so the lighting is a little bit different. Um, I really like this color. It is still quite bright so to a degree I can see it on my skin but not that much. Alrighty. For my under eye highlight, I am using my L'Oreal True Match Concealer. This is in W678 Warm. And that blends out very, very well. On my eyes as a primer, I am using my Wet n Wild Fergie Primer. I have been using this for quite some time since February of this year and you know so far so good we're using the mess out of it all right for my brows I know I'm going back and forth but I'm trying to hurry up I'm using the elf brow kit this is in deep and for my lips because I always like to talk about my lips before my eyes I am using four four products here I have my black radiance chocolate lip liner so I have that on my lips I had this for quite some time this is the hard candy shadow holic 12 hour waterproof color crayon now, this is for your eyes but I love the color so much that I actually use it for my lips so I have this on my lips and uh, I'm sorry I threw it in the bag let me tell you what color that is this is in the color do I can I see it after hours in the color after hours all right as the lipstick I am wearing my color sensational lipstick this is in the number 160 fifth Avenue fuchsia very very pretty this is what that color looks like I really like that 
and then as a gloss over that I'm using my Milani glitzy lip gloss and I believe this is in glow girl and I will show you what that looks like on the wand very very pretty color all right now let's get to these eyes I kept it pretty simple like I said I use a wet n wild Fergie eyeshadow primer then I went back to the naked basics uh, by Urban Decay this is I guess I should say volume one because they do have a newer one out and I finally got it open in here I use this color here which is faint once again as my all over transition in the brow bone area I decided to use naked which is the color next to it and for a little highlight I added Venus once again to that uh, brow bone area I think those colors work beautifully for the pop of color on my eyes I needed to stick to the makeup that I picked and I absolutely know that just because you brought it as one item doesn't mean you can't use it for another so I picked up another Tarte blush and this is also Amazonian clay 12 hour this is in the color blushing bride and this is what that color looks like and it does have some shimmer however I use it as a lid color and a little bit on my cheeks so that I can get you know more uses out of my blush very pretty so for the liner on the top of my eyes I went to Urban Decay 24-7 glide on pencil and Rockstar very pretty color let's see I'll show you really fast that's what that color looks like and it blended in beautifully I do like how those glide on for mascara I had to go in the drawer because the two that I had out it just wouldn't match so I went and got my Rimmel extra lash pop and this is in purple is it in purple pop purple which you should see there and let me show you what that looks like I have this mascara on my eyes only and to hold my shadows in place just in case I decided to use my elf makeup lock and seal you can use this on your lips as well if you have a color that you want to last longer than eight hours then you can use this on your lips as well okay so I'm gonna zoom in and show you my face I'm rocking my hat uh, I combed out this hair to make it more fluffy Nunu just excited so let me zoom in and show you what my face looks like get those bangs out the way so here are my brows and my eyeshadow look my mascara I hope that you can tell all right my cheeks with this one the blush you may not be able to tell I don't have any highlight on and here are my lips Ta-da! <laughs> I'm so happy that school is back in I can't say it enough my house is quiet let me get on out of here and get to work so I can make this money and keep things afloat to all be blessed leave your questions and comments below and I will see you when I come in later today uh, with a buy it to try it have, everyone have a great day and a great day back at school bye